Hello everybody at XDA and uh, YouTube and uh, I'm making this video because somebody requested to uh, make a video about this post here so I am going to go ahead and do it and just before we uh, begin uh, make sure you hit that thanks button uh, for Eugene373 uh, for posting this out and uh, for one of my friends who has helped me with the system image file, his name is uh, Sandspeed. So I would, uh, I would like you guys to thank him as well. So let's go ahead and uh, do this. I've been up all day trying to figure out how to compress the system image. And for my friend Sandspeed to let me know how to do it. I went ahead and did it. So I would be providing a program for that. Uh, as for Flash Fire, yeah, Flash Fire, um, I know people might be using the old version, as you guys may be seeing here in this post here, because the newer version has got a little bit more features, and to me, it really kind of sucks. But I stick with the old one. I don't know if I'm allowed to mirror the file from a Google Drive. But I will try to find the original APK somewhere in XDA and post it in the, the description below. Um, but yeah, once you get it, don't update it. Because I've tried a newer version and I couldn't do nothing with it. So let's uh, get to extracting the system image from our G4s. Get it on the computer, put it into that zip file, and uh, flash it. So the first thing you need to do is uh, download the LG G4 VS986 template.zip and place it anywhere in your computer. Let's close that. And um, I'm pretty sure that most of you guys have ADB. If not... I'll have a link posted below. So once you get in here, go ahead and uh, hold down shift, right click, open CMD, which is the command prompt, and let's go to that post real quick. I just want to make sure I get everything ready. So I was trying to make this video like short as possible. Um, what you need to do first is Take your LG G4, uh, go to settings, go to developer options, and make sure USB debugging is checked. And if you're just now checking this or get um, developer options uh, open, just make sure you stay in that page right there when you connect this. Because if you're sitting in your home screen, uh, you're not going to get anything, so you have to sit right here. And the reason why is, is that it's going to be asking you to allow your computer to do whatever it needs to do. So, once you say allow and hit OK, I already did, so it's not going to ask me. Uh, you can go ahead and put your phone aside and type in ADB. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Sorry about that. It's ADB shell. All that's just all the command lines and all that that you guys can just look around. You know, gives you an idea how to work it. But what we need to do is type in ADB shell. And then you'll get that with a dollar sign. Then type in SU. And then you'll get a number sign. Then let's go back over here to this post. And we're going to copy this command line. Copy it. And paste it in the command prompt. So like that. This is just for the VS986 only. If you're using another phone. Well you better do your homework. Because I won't be able to do a T-Mobile. Or a European version of this phone. Or whatever. I'm only on Verizon. So uh, once you get that down, go ahead and hit enter. And this is going to take some time now, so I'm going to be right back. Alright, this should take like uh, no more than five minutes. But 
when it's done, you'll get that with the number symbol. Uh, what we do is we're going to go to our home menu and go open up your file explorer. I'm using uh, ES File Explorer. And you'll see your system image sitting right here. Give me a second. I'm going to properties so I can show you guys how big it is. Uh, this is how big my uh, image file came to is uh, 4.18 gigabytes. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of there. And what we're going to do is, is we're going to cut the file. Just press the scissors icon. Uh, I wouldn't recommend copy. That's just going to be more time consuming. And I'm going to throw this bad boy into the download folder. So those two squares is your copy button if you're using ES. And the uh, system image isn't in there. And the reason why I did that is for some reason, I don't know if it's just me, uh, but my computer is sitting here not able to see the file. So, give me one second. You know what I need to do? Go down here and download this file myself too. So I can show you in demonstration. I'm going to throw this one here on the desktop. Because I already have one already made. So yeah, I already got my system image here. My hard drive is faster than my phone, so while it's doing its thing here, I'm going to go to my PC. We're going to go in the phone, uh, internal storage, and we're going to go to where I we moved that file. So we're going to go to download, and right there is your, I just had it in my camera, and this thing, oh, there it is. There is your uh, system uh, image. So what you do is you take this and paste it anywhere on your computer. As for now, I'm going to be using a desktop. And it's still going. So yeah, be done in just a second. And there we go. We got our image file. Alright. Now, what you need to be doing next is getting 7-Zip. The link is uh, posted down below. Right-click the zip folder or file. Go to where it says 7-Zip and open archive. And you'll get this. There's a, a uh, play system image here. We're going to go ahead and delete that. It just, it, that's just showing you where exactly where you need to put it. And then you take your system image and you drag and drop it inside there and say yes. So it's going to compress this for you. You're going to end up with a 2 gig file. So while I'm letting it do its thing there, I'm not going to stop it. I am going to go back to my hard drive. I keep everything there. So I already got it done. So I'm going to be placing the file back and uh, we're going to place it into the root of our uh, internal storage. So yeah, right there is mine. It's 1.96 gigs big. I'm going to copy that. Go to the PC. Need to go in there. I got a what? Oh well, how much space do I have? Alright, I got four gigs. I ain't gonna kill nothing. I'm gonna paste it in there. You're right here. Right here is the whole root. Paste it. I'll be right back when it's uh, done. Alright, so it's done. So, we got our template. If it wants to respond to me. Probably won't even worry about if it's going to be acting up like that. But I was just going to show you the size of it. But it should be. Damn it, Windows Explorer. Alright, now what we're going to do next is unplug our phone. And we're going to go ahead and go to Flash Fire.
click on the plus sign, flash zip, zip or OTA, and we are going to right here. LG G4 VS986 template zip. Do not press auto mount, just hit this check mark. My hands are not big enough to reach it like that. Well, my thumb ain't long enough. And then you press on that plus sign again. Click on wipe. And then what you may need to make sure we do not need those. We need uh, the lick. Uh, yeah, go ahead and make fun of me. I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. Um, the Velik cache and cache partition, as it will show you on the post. I kind of forgot myself. This image right here. Yep, I was on the dot. And then you click on that check mark on the top. Just make sure it looks exactly like this. Like the image on there too. I'm going to use my nose for this. And then... I think you pressed the flash button. Yep. And now it's like flash. So once you hit the check mark and everything, come down here to hit flash. I will come back to you guys in a little bit. This should take like 20 minutes when my phone starts doing its thing. Um... I will come back to you guys show you what it looks like. So right there's the phone going to boot off. Look at all them command lines. So yeah, then got another long time before we get into the operating system. So yeah, the phone go off, leave the phone on. Should take about another 20 minutes or so. I think this one took about 15 minutes right now. Because it did say about 12 minutes or so. And then uh, 20 minutes after all those uh, command lines that you saw. So go spend time with your family, play with your dog, something. Alright, after 200 and so many apps being done. There's my phone being booting up right now. Cuts off on me. So yeah, that's how you use that uh, flash fire, including that uh, template. So enjoy.